Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some new items from Rock Scale Designs, and these are the geared backspacer in a graphite black. So hopefully you can kind of see what he's got going on here. It's gonna be a great addition to any of your knives. We'll look at it in comparison. We'll probably do a swap out. But also, a uh, nice another titanium piece. This is an Anno Blue backspacer for a 940-1 or 940-2. Um, would look hot on something like this. I mean, if you can just think of how that would look. Now these are his scales that he made are hatch design. They have some contouring, they are titanium. I took a 940-2, put some titanium um, spacers in there from um, Adrian in Australia, um, which is triple X adrenaline, triple X, um, good guy, good products, but yeah, really makes it pop. So thinking about maybe even doing a blue thumb stud that he makes there and titanium, putting it on there as well. Have that on my, uh, bench made bug out. So anyways, so yeah, these are the two things that he's added to his store. In addition to all the other great parts you can buy, he's also got some new, um, scales they're like a mollusk design and let me show you those if you guys have been watching the channel you've seen what those look like holy cow you guys those are amazing so anyways we'll get into a little bit of these we'll put it all together we'll see what it looks like but i think we're gonna have a win and i just so happen to have a 940-2 here from benchmade so I think we'll go ahead, crack that open, see what it looks like. And maybe we'll also do a, a swap out here on one of my bug outs. As you can tell, I like his geared backspacers. I have one on my purple bug out here. It's the 535. I went ahead and dyed the scales purple, but that's the one of the standard kind of sandblast style ones. Looks great. And I also have the anodized blue one on my blacked out bug out. Hopefully you guys saw the video on that one. Keeps the lanyard hole for the lanyard fans. You guys can reunite and celebrate because it's gorgeous. But anyways, so let me get this set up. Be right back. All right, we're back. Now we're gonna start with a standard 940-2. Comes with the green standoffs. Standard Benchmade clip. This is brand new out of the box. S30V steel. Nice G10 scales. Just a solid knife from Benchmade. If you don't have one of these, I recommend you getting one. It'll put up with pretty much anything you're gonna throw at it. Um, reverse Tonto. Use that, you know, Tonto tip, especially the thick edge there for some things I probably shouldn't have. And it's held up, but anyways. We're gonna start with this one, and we're gonna spin it into this knife right here. So I'm gonna save you the tear down techniques. Um, I have some other videos showing you how to tear those down, so I will put it in fast motion. See you in a second. we're back we got this one built out now like I said the blue is your mollusk and your you know flat titanium is your um, hatch design so you can see the difference between the two and then here's the new backspacer what do you guys think that's just gorgeous so we'll take a look at that one a little closer it's got a little bit of design right here but it does not stick up above the scale Solid backspacer with these scales, man. And he makes other ones. I mean, you can put that blue backspacer on this one. Now, one of the things I want to show you, the standard deep pocket carry, or the standard carry clip, probably just doesn't look right on this one. I mean, it does to a point, 
But when you're all flashed out, blinged out like that, you at least got to go mini in a solid color. So I'm going to throw a mini on there. I think that'll work the best. What do you guys think about this one? Is this something you guys would pick up? These Mala scales? I don't know. That's pretty awesome. And you know, this one he designed with only the right-handed carry. You can get it in the left-handed carry as well. You just have to specify. I suppose you could do all you could do both also, but if you're getting custom scales for yourself, you know, you want them custom to you. So anyways, I think this definitely makes the look of it with that backspacer as well. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know. I think that one's full on package. I mean, you could go with the coated blade on this one too for even a little more design. But man, holy cow. The mini deep carry clip on there. Just good. I love it. Love the way it feels, the texture. Catches that light. Looks even better in the sunlight, but that's the back the backspacer that he just came out with. So I'm gonna show it to you. Um, I will clip over to showing it to you with just taking off the the standard green barrel spacers and putting that backspacer in. And let me know what you guys think of that one. Hold on just one second, I'll show you. And thanks to editing, look at this one. So it's your 940-2. We took out the green barrel spacers it comes with. We put in that rock scale design, anodized titanium backspacer. That just looks amazing. Man, I like it kind of this version right here. You know, just that anno, that pop of blue. Kind of reminds me of that bug out that I set up. Maybe if you, you know, put on a titanium or the blue bear or uh, thumb studs, kind of ties in the color. You know, he's got green, he's got lots of other colors. He's got raw titanium colors, sandblasted, purple. Um, you could probably even do like a blurple like you did on my bailout scales. But yeah, what do you guys think? Would you guys go all out titanium scales, the mollusk ones? Or, you know, this one right here, this backspace is with only $38 on his website. And it lines up perfectly with, you know, the stock scales, how they have those grooves already in them for a little bit of uh, grip. So you have grip there, a little grip on this end, you know, if you're going to use the knife this way. So, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. So I think you can't go wrong either way. Um, yeah, I mean, adding them to whatever. You know, customize away, right? We see my bug out collection. I got to lay, lay low on that. But yeah, I think that's going to be a win for me. I don't know about for you guys, but try to get it on the camera a little bit better there. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if you go all out blue or if you just want a little pop of blue. Um, you know, these scales are going to be a little more. They're in the mid 150 range, uh, depending on what you get on them. Uh, you can get the other ones as well. And then you can get the critter pattern anodized with the geared backspacer. These are for these are all titanium for the bug out. You can get them for bug out or bailout right now. He has them, but yeah, just some amazing stuff. So I'm gonna clip over really quick. I'm gonna show you adding this one to a bug out. Uh, I know this video is getting long, but thanks for hanging out, and we'll see those in just one second. Now I just want to do a quick update. If you're just going to do a backspacer on a bug out or similar knife, um, you can take the pocket clip off this side, if you're right handed, the uh, flat pivot spot. Take the pocket clip off, remove these two screws from your scales, leave the other two in. Take off all of them on this side, including taking off the pivot which will then expose this and allow you to take off your barrel spacers that are stock or now with these, the barrel spacers stay inside on the old ones. 
Now this is an updated style right here that the studs are built in. So it'll do a full replacement. So it doesn't go over top of them anymore. So the cool part is, is you can keep your finger on this, on this side of the pivot, which keeps your blade and everything else in place. And then you can just pop this right on into those holes and put your scale right back on top. So kind of an easy way, you know, and then I always, you know, put your pivot in first or reinstall your, you know, pivot, your male pivot, because then it's not gonna come apart on you. And you got a few more minutes to put everything back together. So anyways, uh, what do you guys think? What do you think of that black, graphite black one? I really like the graphite black. And it isn't one that's gonna have any sort of, you know, you gotta put your barrel spacers in and these go over top of them. Now it's direct replacement. So I, that's a really good upgrade. I love seeing that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put this one back together. As you can tell, I use this one quite a bit. Um, this is one of the 535 GRY-1s. And now I think I need to get some black thumb studs on this to kind of mirror it all out. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, really appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, these are all things that you can get from Rock Scale Designs. Um, here's another set. Here's the Anno Blue ones I put on, that bug out. I think they all look great, you know. Doesn't matter what your budget is. You can find something to mod your knife. You can find the colors you want. Check it all out. Rockscaledesign.com. Let me know what's your favorite. Um, you've seen my bailout videos. If not, I'll try to link them at the end uh, or in the description below because he does some wicked designs on the bailout as well. So got a couple spider codes in there. I know he's working on a bunch of other things. So anyways, you guys are great. Do something kind for someone this week and take care. Take her? Take care. Most importantly, take care. Thanks, you guys.